Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate how to configure an inline Modbus TCP bus coupler and its local I.O. Out of the box, the bus coupler does not have a default IP address, so we need to use a freeware tool called IP Assign to do this. Once IP Assign is opened, the application listens for boot P requests on the Ethernet network. These requests are transmitted until an IP address is assigned to the device. Once we receive a boot P request from our bus coupler, then we can proceed by highlighting the request and going through the next steps to give our I.O. station its IP address. For this example, we're going to use 192.168.1.10 and then click Next to continue. Now we wait for this request to be acknowledged by the bus coupler and for the bus coupler to accept the changes. You'll notice the LEDs on the local I.O. modules have gone on solid green and there is a new amber light on the BK, which indicates that we are in a mode called plug and play. In this mode, the bus coupler will read in and auto-configure whatever I.O. is currently connected to its local bus. Next, we need to acknowledge the connected I.O. into the bus coupler's permanent memory by simply launching the integrated web page on the BK. To do this, I'm going to launch Internet Explorer and type the IP address of my station, 192.168.1.10, into the address bar. Once the BK's web page loads, we need to go under Inline Station where you can see the plug and play mode is enabled. I'm going to hit disabled, and I'm going to type in the default password, private, and finally apply these changes. As soon as I apply the setting changes, you'll notice that the bus coupler's PP light goes out, indicating that we're no longer in that mode and that we are now permanently holding the current bus configuration in the bus coupler's permanent memory. While you already have the web page open, you may want to look under the bus configuration menu. This page gives you a representation of the I.O. on the local bus, but more importantly, it gives you the Modbus addresses you will want to access to read and write to the I.O. points via your Modbus master. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call our technical service department at 1-800-322-3225. Thank you.